Do not own this if you're younger than 15. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Guardians of the Galaxy Amazon exclusive Ronin the Accuser Deluxe figure, which is loosely based off the comics, or is this based off of the video game? I like the design. It looks cool to me. I'm happy to get it on the side right here, and it's very much a needed update, right? Like the last one, you know, I'll do comparisons later on. There's a 3D render on the back. You can see another 3D render. No other accessories, just the hammer and the figure right over there. There's some comic art of Ronin, not really looking so much like how he looks right over here, I guess, kind of. Anyway, on the top, you get a not spot varnished Guardians of the Galaxy logo. And then not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. But first, try and get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> so yeah, while it's just the one accessory, I gotta say I do like it. And it has changed in its design over the years. You know, the first Ronin figure we got from Hasbro, this has the more classic look for the hammer. And then you can see this has been adapted a little bit, you know, know from the movie version i think this is where the longer stem has come from right i could be wrong about that but i really love the details on this thing it has this nice cast iron finish on it and you can see those bright baby blue lines looking really clean there's one side that has a minor scuff right there yep but aside from that it looks pretty clean to me man uh, i'm really happy with it Looks good. I love the little scars and everything. So that's pretty dope. And then you can see some nice patterns right over here for the handle. Looking cool. <laughs> So for those of you who don't understand why I get upset over marbling in the plastic, this is a perfect reason why. Uh, look at this. You have this weird line coming through the center of his forehead or coming down at a weird angle like this with these other little lines right over here. Now he's supposed to have this shape kind of coming across like that, but these other patterns right there are not supposed to be there. Those are supposed to be smooth, and that's why I get irritated over the marbling in the plastic. Now, I will say I do love the photoreal tech the detailed paint right there on the mouth and on the chin right there looks really good to me i like how the black paint and the eyes look on this figure and the nice green trim right over here looks accurately placed by the way uh i don't know if i'm going to keep the intro for all of my reviews let me know in the comment section below I think the shorter intro with the pictures is going to be good for some reviews and then maybe doing the full intro uh, for other reviews is a good idea. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section. But yeah, you can see we have these uh, Colossus arms right over here. These shoulder pads are pretty dope. I do like that. Uh, we will get into the articulation in a moment. And I love the design of this figure. It has that Contest of Champions look for sure, but it definitely reminds me of classic Ronin. And it's enough of a classic Ronin for me to satisfy me so i'm happy with that and you can see get some sculpted stuff right over here the belt looks pretty good you can't see some marbling right here in the arms where it doesn't bother me as much yeah that doesn't look too bad right there on the bicep then these right here these little glove parts we've seen before from colossus we have new hands right over here this has a vertical hinge this has a horizontal hinge unfortunately i have some white stripping right over here on this glove you can see that right over there a little unfortunate from rotating the wrist around i've posed this figure around a whole bunch i love the cuts in the skirt pieces right over here that does help with the articulation was able to get this guy on a snoke throne so that was helpful then the legs right over here look pretty good uh, i do like how the legs came out not too bad colossus boots and everything you do have the pinned joints doesn't really bother me when you have the same color on both sides some may get really irritated by it but it's not really bugging me can't say it's a big complaint and then you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet so the articulation on this figure is actually a bit better than i originally anticipated however it does have restrictions due to the shoulder pads and the design of the character now you can turn the head side to side just fine which is actually quite impressive uh, no head pivoting of course and getting the head to look up is very tricky to do there is a hinge right over here 
he will only move his head upward only a tiny bit. You can get the head to move downward a little bit. Does shift forward and back a little bit like a pile driver. And you can move these shoulder pads forward and back. They will pop off. You can see the hole right over there. You just pop them back on. So when that happens, yeah, or it's going to happen, or without it happening for the moment, you can see the shoulders will move outward just that far. You can move them inward. And yeah, it's still attached. You could rotate forward that much, back that much. You get a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. And then you have the wrist rotation, horizontal hinge, vertical hinge, that side. And then ab crunch forward, ab crunch back a little bit, waist cut right there, hips move outward right there, and he will kick forward that much, back only a tiny bit, upper thigh cut. And you have the double jointed knees, no boot rotation, but the, oh wait, boot rotation's right here. Oops, sorry. Uh, the ankles do move down though, and they do move up, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this deluxe figure, you can see that Ronan is standing maybe just a little over eight inches tall. And to get into some size comparisons, you can see Ronan next to the Colossus figure where a lot of these body parts were based off of. You can see the legs, the arms, the height is about the same, and ooh, this was not sold as a deluxe figure did not have the deluxe price tag back when this came out Ooh. and then here's Ronan the accuser next to a couple of marvel figures we have captain marvel right here and we have ms marvel from the three pack and i would like to get a classic ms marvel carol danvers figure that would be great i don't think hasbro and disney is gonna allow it that's very frustrating but i just want to mention also i did see the marvels trailer what did you guys think Looked like it could be okay. One thing I am bummed out about is that at this moment in time, when I do see Carol Danvers in the MCU, it does not remind me at all of the Carol Danvers from the comics. Like, I see them as two separate characters completely. And then here's Ronan next to the Annihilators from the Annihilation series from David Abnett, who is an incredible author. Anyway, uh, you can see we have Quasar, Better Ray Bill, Gladiator, Nova, and Silver Surfer. Uh, these... Three and Better Ray Bill are the only ones that actually have the right outfits from that Annihilation storyline, right? Ronan did not look like this, but it's closer than the other version, right? And then for a Ronin figure comparison, you can see we have the Build-A-Figure Ronin from many years ago, like over 10 years ago, quite a while ago. And then we have the MCU version right over here. And this is my favorite one out of the three for sure. This one definitely has more of a classic look, more classic looking hammer. I just want to see what it'd look like if we gave this newer figure uh, the older looking hammer just to see how this would go. And he does hold it. I don't know if you like the aesthetic more like that. That could work for you. I could see I could see that. Yeah. Then here's Ronan the Accuser. Next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, big green guy. Hey, you like to judge, don't you? What do you think of my outfit, huh? Yeah, he likes it. <laughs> Sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And I appreciate you guys for hitting that subscribe button and for just simply watching the videos. That does go a long way. And this figure makes me happy. I think my complaints about it are fairly minimal. I did complain about the marbling effect on the face. Yeah, that stands out to me when I look at the figure close up. But he is going to take a center spot on my Fantastic Four slash Cosmic Beings shelf as the Ronin Build-A-Figure has in the past. This one will take its place. I think it is a suitable replacement. I really do like it. I like the way it came out. I like the sculpted detail on the new parts. I think the reused parts from the Colossus figure are okay. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with those parts being used with this figure. I don't know if a lot of people are complaining about that or not. But for me, it's not really a problem. And I think the articulation actually works out pretty well with this figure. So I don't really have a whole lot to complain about. Maybe getting interchangeable hands would have been cooler to have than not. Of course, I would like that. But for this particular character and him wielding this hammer like this, it's not that big of an issue. It really isn't for me anyway. So, yeah, at the price point around, oh, God, I think this guy cost me closer to around 50 bucks if I remember correctly. Shoot, can't remember off the top of my head. But somewhere around that price point, I'm going to throw in an edit right there if I'm way off. I'm going to give it a sun rating of... <laughs> I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know down in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. We got a live stream this Thursday at 6 p.m. Hope to see you guys there, and if not, I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy.
Hey, let me show you some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.